Hey, what's up guys? It's Becca, and I'm coming at you in the morning. I'm drinking coffee, but I'm already like really excited. Why am I so excited? Because I get to tell you guys about um, my concerts that I went to. I went and saw the green cards, insert photo here, and um, they are like one of the most awesome bands ever. We... <sighs> Everybody I have a conversation with about the green cards, we define them differently. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say they're the best music you haven't heard. You need to go hear them. Go watch my last, um, just go search on my channel for green cards. I have tons of videos of them live, and there's tons of videos on YouTube that aren't shot by me. They have a MySpace, they have a Facebook, where you can hear their music. They're going to be on Mountain Stage soon because they just taped that so you can hear them on NPR. I mean, seriously, they're the best music you haven't heard. Just go listen to it. You'll love it. Okay, that being said, on Wednesday I went and saw the green cards at the Ark in Ann Arbor. And the Ark is one of the coolest listening rooms, I think, because I don't even like to call it like a... Uh, a concert hall or anything. I really like the idea of calling it a listening room because that's really what it is. It's a room. Um, it's not. I mean, it's not huge. It's a pretty small place. I think they, I think they hold like four hundred people or four hundred fifty or four hundred and twenty-five. It's something like that. I can't remember. Depends on how they set up the chairs too. But um, it was awesome. I have a link in. God, which side is it? It's this side. Okay, I have a link over here to um, the entire concert uh, recording. It's just audio, but it was recorded by Z-Man. So if you know who Z-Man is, he's big in the uh, 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 tape trading world. And um, it's on E-Tree, so it's Torrent. So you just, you know, if you know about Torrents, then you're good. If you don't, then don't even bother with the link. And... I personally had a great time at the show. Of course, it's my hometown, you know, so I love to be able to just go and, you know, hang out with these guys and and enjoy it and not have to worry about, you know, who's taking care of my dogs or, you know, the long drive home. So, yeah. Um, what, what was I going to say about it, though? Oh, Carol got a new bass, and um, insert photo here, and I know the photo is sideways, and I don't even care, but you can see her awesome new bass. And, uh, of course, I got to mention at the show, because I'm one of their street teamers, and they don't need to say my name. They don't need to thank me publicly, but they know that it makes me turn red, so. And we'd like to thank Sandy and Becca for our street teamers uh, advertising and promoting the show for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And oh my god, you guys, you should have seen me. I looked so cute. I know that sounds so, like, I don't know, big-headed or whatever, but I bought a new dress for the show, and I didn't even, like, intend to buy a dress. I was just at the mall, at the Apple store, taking care of something, and I was like, well, I might as well just go check the clearance racks really quick, and I don't know, see if there's a cool new, like, flowy top or something that I can wear to the show and I found this dress for 12 bucks so I had to have it because it was 12 bucks and it was so nice I looked so pretty so after the show uh everybody except Carol in the band they all went over to the circus which is a um a bar and they have uh bluegrass nights Wednesdays and Thursdays which is really cool. And one of the cool parts about Bluegrass Night is that it's an open stage. So you can just bring your instrument and join in the fun or, you know, step in when everybody else takes a break or whatever, you know. <clears throat> it's open stage. You can just play bluegrass music. And it's fun. And it's always packed. There's always, like, a gazillion people there. And if you live in the area, it's really awesome. Seriously, it's free. No, no charge for admission. You get free popcorn. And, uh, I think, what is it, PBRs are like a buck or something? I don't remember because I don't drink. But anyway, so I went to the circus, but the Mac Pods were there doing like some sort of secret surprise show because they were doing Sonic Lunch the next day. So, um, you don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. But anyway, the Mac Pods, Michigan, local band, funky, awesome, check them out. Um, so... Obviously, no room really to, like, jump in on stage and play. And, and uh, it was really loud in there, so we all went outside. 
And they ended up like just kind of jamming on the sidewalk for everybody who was outside, which was really awesome. <laughs> And I posted a video of it, so if you haven't seen my last two videos, one is from, you know, Inside the Ark, and then the other is from the sidewalk, and um, thank you guys so much for letting me post, thank you, Green Cards, because they are just really nice about letting me post um, my video footage. And doesn't it look awesome? Oh my god, my new camera totally rocks. Okay, so that was like Wednesday, right? That was pretty much all a Wednesday. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then on Friday, Friday was like an adventure for me because not only was I going to go see the green cards, but I was going to go see them in Dayton. And there, the last time I was in the area was for my sister's wedding, which was, God, I want to say in April, and it feels like forever ago, even though it was just a couple months ago. And um, so I was hungry for food from home. Like, Food from home is, oh God, I don't have a home per se. Like going to my parents' house doesn't feel like I'm home. Um, I've never really felt like at home anywhere except when I'm eating certain things, which is really bad because I should be like morbidly obese, but um, I'm not. I have self-control, <laughs> but I had to, had to had to have Skyline Chili for lunch. So I went to Skyline Chili, and then um, I actually set out a game plan the night before with MG Phenom on exactly what order I was going to hit everything, because, you know, these some of these places close, and I had a concert to go to in the middle of all of this. So, yeah, it was Skyline Chili for lunch, and then I had to stop at Dorothy Lane Market, and I had to pick up some killer brownies. And um, I'm going to insert a little snap of my killer brownie right here. Because, oh my god, these things are amazing. And they're so rich, you can obviously see how much I've eaten off of it. Not very much. Okay. Oh my god! And then, okay, so, uh, then it was going to the concert, and then after the concert, I had to go to Bill's Donuts, so I could pick up some donuts, not to eat, but just, you know, for the next day. And then on the way home, I was supposed to hit Waffle House. And I totally hit every single one in that order. Okay, I know that sounds really ridiculous, but the concert was, oh my god, it was crazy. It was at the Phrase Pavilion, and I've actually never been inside the Phrase, because I lived in the neighborhood, and I didn't need to pay to get in, because I could hear the music in my yard. So, I got to check out the Phrase on the inside for the first time, and it's freaking gorgeous, and... Oh my god, their sound is like booming. I have never heard the green cards so loud. It was just like boom. It was awesome. And so, yeah, the green cards played um, what I would say was an extremely short set. But I loved it. Don't get me wrong. Oh my god, totally worth the drive. Just to see all these people who had never seen them before. And then the next act was Sarah Watkins from Nickel Creek. Oh my god. Okay, she released a solo album... I want to say the spring, and it's some of the just, it's, it's so gorgeous. It is her embodied in a CD. It's beautiful, and it's totally worth listening to. I'm sure that there's stuff all over YouTube, um, but buy the album. It's really good. So her and her brother was there backing her up on guitar, which was really cute, and so it was cool to see them. I think that seeing Sarah interact with the crowd like she was the front person for once she wasn't one of three she was number one and it was really cool to see her in that role and and uh ah, she's just adorable so and then the main act was this guy robert earl Keane, and i'm i'm sure that some of you have to have heard of him i had never really listened to him i had heard his name going around the circuits but um I never actually sat down and listened to him because I thought he was too country for me. So, um, when I found out that I was going to see him, you know, of course I'm checking him out on YouTube and stuff. And I came kind of to the same conclusion that he was a little too country for me. And so seeing him, I, um, I... 
I knew, because, okay, seriously, the stuff, this, this amphitheater was so loud. Oh, God, I'm talking forever. I don't even care, whatever. This amphitheater was so loud. And this crowd, like, as time went on through the first two acts, I could see them getting drunker and drunker and rowdier and rowdier. I knew it was going to be, like, crazy. And so I actually had, like, really amazing seat. Like, seriously, the it was a really good seat. And it was so loud where I was that I was so afraid of being down there right in front with all of these, like, hardcore Robert Earl Keane fans. <laughs> so I actually didn't sit at my seat because, and I'm really glad I didn't because, uh, like, 45 seconds into his first song, the volume went from, like, 10 to, like, 14. And it, like, it literally, you could hear, like, in the middle of the song, they just turned the master volume up. It was crazy. So, yeah, it was, like, a whole bunch of Ohio rednecks going nuts. They were loving it. It was great. It was great to be there. The atmosphere was really positive. And, um, but the music wasn't exactly for me. So I kind of just hung out and, and chatted it up with people and, uh, Okay, I just, I gotta cut myself off, because I'll just keep talking. Seriously, you guys know me. And this video is, like, ages long. It's, like, already over ten minutes. So, I'm gonna say right now that you need to check out the green cards. Go to thegreencards.com and see if they're coming to your town at all. They are constantly adding new shows. Like, literally, they just added um, a show in Bowling Green, Ohio, and uh, one in Illinois, like literally, like just this weekend. And um, so I'm really excited about that because obviously I get to go see them again. But um, if you go to see the green cards, they almost always go to some sort of CD signing after the show, like by their merch table, or they go out and mingle with the crowd because they're just really amazing people like that. And, and they're just, they're really open. Go up and talk to them and tell them that I told you to go to their show and that you listen to me because they will totally laugh so hard. And it'll be funny because then you'll be instantly, like, cool in their eyes because they like me. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. I'm just going to shut up because I'm going to keep talking. And obviously, I don't need to finish the rest of this coffee, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be wired. You guys have a great day. Bye.